quickly now, we have Lincoln Bob. He's a representative of the Commonwealth Local Government Conference. Fit for the future. Now, Lincoln uh, recently presented a paper in Malta where he spoke about the issues surrounding local government and the form. Uh, he is a former councillor for the Tumpuna Arima area uh, under the then mayor, George Hadid. He's a doctoral candidate to the Arthur Locke Jack Reddy School of Business, and uh, he also is a consultant with Anthony Watkins and, Watkins, and uh, also he has his own consultancy firm. He was the only Trinidad and Tobago presenter at the event at Malta, and the paper, a derivative of the Triple Helix Way to stimulate innovation and efficiency in the operations of the Arima Borough Corporation. From someone who actually has been in the heart of the beast, he's here to tell us a little bit about some of the innovative ways that we can move forward. Lincoln, good morning. How are you? Good morning. How are you? What was your experience like at the Arima Borough Corporation? Um, it was very interesting. Uh, there were a lot of things that I, I learned, um, a lot of things that we think that, that politicians do and don't do. We recognize that, that they are uh, very much engaged, at least the bunch that I was with, very much engaged trying to see how best we could balance off uh, money as well as delivering some of the goods and services that we we were trying to see how best what we could get to people. What was it about that experience that prompted you to want to go into this road? Uh, precisely that, trying to see how best I can actually deliver goods and services to the people. And what eventually happened is that we recognized that there were some areas that we needed to improve as far as competency, as far as how we are uh, efficient, effectiveness, and stuff like that. And in, in trying to find better ways in doing that, we eventually stumbled upon, uh, stumble upon this triple helix way. Um, so first of all, we looked at the internal competencies. And then we uh, hired a, a, a consultant to come in, work with us, and try and see if we could actually add that information knowledge for better um, efficiency. And then um, what I wanted to do is to see if we could find a way, a cheaper way, in which we could get that kind of knowledge continuously flowing into the borough corporation to be able to continually build that, that competency and eventually uh, deliver goods and services to the people in an effective and efficient Just way. Just for the benefit of our viewers, what's the Triple Helix Way? Well, the Triple Helix Way is, is, a, is a concept that was developed by uh, Henry Escovitz. Uh, what he did is uh, looked and see there are three entities, which the government is one, uh, the industry as well as the universities or uh, research institutions that work together to develop a sphere where knowledge and everything is is, is given off is um is developed and innovation is also developed so what happens is each one of the entities uh, is able to continue doing what they are characteristic of doing which is one the um, University continues doing the research and developing and everything. We also have the, the industry applying some of that knowledge and research, and the government creating through legislation an area, a sphere, which these things can actually develop, mature, and go ahead. Um, what happened is that when I was in the uh, Remover Corporation, we found that there was a lot of resources that was hemorrhaging. Uh, particularly like funding and stuff because sometimes of lack of knowledge and those sorts of different things as we go forward. So what I was trying to do is, is to try and see if we could find ways and means we could see if we could stymie that and ensure that we are more efficient and effective overall. You talk about innovation and creativeness in the local government system. People will think that that in itself is wishful thinking. Well, yes, people may think it's wishful thinking, um, but uh, most of the, uh, around the world, there are so many different examples of, 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 of countries and, and uh, towns that are doing it. Particularly when I went to the, um, to the conference, we recognized that Dur Durban, which is in eastern South Africa, they have developed a, a far, a, 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 a town or a city that they will call a knowledge city, where the universities and the government and everybody are all working together to try and see if they can propel that. So it has been done around the world, and, and it has been done in, in Brazil as far as small and medium enterprise, it has been done in Thailand, it, it has been done, even Silicon Valley is considered, considered one of those places. So yes, we, we have ways and means in which we could actually do that, and, and people might think What are some not... of the practical, easy changes we can make? To, local, to the local government model? Well, first of all, one, we have to start recognizing that knowledge is essential. And understanding that knowledge is essential and how do you apply that knowledge is essential. So, um, for instance, in Arima, we also have a UTT there. 
Uh, a lot of the times when we're looking to develop uh, even things as simple as box drains and understanding how we can solve the problems there and understanding what is causing the flooding and everything, having that knowledge being injected allows us to, to be able to find more creative ways or, or more innovative ways of solving our own problems rather than taking something that is not from here, applying it, and it doesn't work. So there are little ways in which we actually, how we assess our projects, how we oversee the contractors that we have hired. Those type of things enable us to, to, to do those things. And it's very simple ways and means in which we could do it. You talk about your people. What is the status of the people now? Well, I did the presentation, and um, now they want me to add it to their journal so that it will be circulated um, around the world, around the Commonwealth. Have you taken the paper to the Arima Corporation? I have, well, what I, what, let me put it this way. This is, has been something based on my, me trying to improve. I took it to the Prime Minister first of all, and he directed me to then Mr. Um, Mr. Franklin Khan, who was then the local government minister. And uh, he loved it also. I also presented it to the, to the education minister, who was Mr. Anthony Garcia, and he also was interested in it. And then I also took it back to my, to my um, university, and they published it in one of their magazines. So it, it has been a spiraling, a spiraling thing. I, I also want to take it back to, to the corporation, but I also wanted to, to get um, the local government minister and the ministry also involved in that. Closing comments, Trinidad and Tobago. If you had to advise a local government minister now, uh, do they understand that the model is not working? The current model, is it working? Um, is they, it delivering on any of the expectations? Well, the, 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 and hence that's why they have the local government reform. And, uh, and this is something I, w I think that can actually We've add been reforming local government for quite a while Yes, now. yes we have. And I, I think that, that over time, if, especially when we say we have the deadline coming up uh, possibly in, in 20, 2019 for the next election, I think over this year and the following year we will have a, a more, more um, emphasis placed on it. Your closing comments? Well, one of the closing comments is that I wanted to let people know that this is a, 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 this was an opportunity that I, was, I, that I, I got to actually express our own local thought, concepts, ideas on, on a world stage. And Trinidad and Tobago is, can actually be world leaders in, in putting forward new ideas that, that it can be used around the world. And we can also look at us, ourselves as innovators in the long run. How far off is our model compared to others? Um, it's not that far off. We hear some of the similar, same situations happening in all What is the key government. difference? The key difference, one, is um, they have a lot more resources in, in, to invest in certain things and try new things. A lot of the, the people who I interact with come from far larger cities who have um, far larger income, sometimes even more than Trinidad and Tobago. So a lot of the resources and stuff is probably the, the biggest gap. That, that we have, we face as compared to a lot of the countries that we're speaking about it. But also, there is a, a greater need to put emphasis and bring the, the universities and research institutions in to, to actually help and develop the nation overall. We we'll take a short break and we'll come back with a lot more for you. Stay with us. This is the morning. If I ain't come that to mango dead, if I ain't come to eat cheese sweet bread. Neighborhood, why you hear me? Neighborhood, people hearing. 